Um, we'll do Wild Intent first, and then we'll finish off with Shard Tail Queen. Wild Intent, we're going to try to do um, an Incant run. So I think we want... Hmm, I think I prefer Frozen Lance over uh, Foregone Power. Let's give it a shot. So we're hoping for um, a lot of Incants and... The other, the other option I could have gone was uh, Melting Remnant, and you do um, the sticky stealth build. But I think uh, I think Incant's probably just easier. Uh, Seraph Temperance should be just fine. And what do we want here? Cards and reward packs and units come with a random upgrade. I think I'd rather... Well, we don't really have any healing, do we? Oh, I guess we have, we have Restoration Detonation. Um, I mean, I love the draw. I just don't love Capricious Reflection. Um, let's see what we get for champion upgrades first. We want... Uh, well, if we're going to get anything, we're going to get Predator. And then we're going to get, uh, hopefully, um, Thornlord. I think we will go for a second Relic here. That's a good one. That's a good one. Ooh, that's tough. Thornfruit is really great if we end up going full incant. Emblem of Exiles is really great. Full stop. <laughs> Just good. Um, I think we're going to go with Thornfruit. It's really good for the draw. It's really good for some just kind of incidental damage. And then, of course, it's really good for any type of incant setup. First trial shouldn't be too bad. Um, so we'll play at the top floor. I think we'll put a train steward with it over the custodian. Hit you, hit you, and heal the draw. Uh, okay, nice tornado. It's not nothing. Um, I think we play this first, and then we do the sting after. Uh, seems okay. This seems less okay. But we can put a train steward probably in the front to absorb the hit here. And then a sting opens up. And then double root seeds. And what I think we're going to do here is play Astronado to uh, clear out the final floor here. Uh, Astronado, please. Pretty solid. We get a double stings or one sting. Um, hmm. This is not going to do anything to this guy. So we'll just take five fire damage and hit you for ten. The only way we're going to hit the backliner is if we happen to get Ice Tornado again, which is uh, it's reasonable but kind of tough. Uh, let's just go with triple root seeds here. We only need to hit five times. The question is, can we hit five times as is? Um, currently not, but okay, now we're good. Easy. Five damage for a trial plus shards is really not bad at all. Okay, Wild Wood Sap's great, just for the draw, more than anything else. Um, Frenzy Swarm is a good finisher. It does prevent damage. I think that makes sense. And it also enables any offering cards we might take. There's a Siren. That's already good uh, incanting. Would really love to get a Descend, a Restoring Retreat, but we'll see what we end up getting here. Um, we'll go for another Stygian Banner. Offering Monument is pretty good. The only issue right now is that we don't have a way of uh, playing it out. Plus five health and draw each turn. Uh, that's pretty good to just add to anything. I actually hadn't seen offering monuments. That's, that's actually, I mean, that's really solid. This is a relic in a unit. That means we could go ember or capacity, which would be really solid. Um, endless doesn't really make sense. What's our? What's the essence of uh, plus two and draw one each turn? Okay, so they're basically the same. Um, hmm. Not loving any of this. 
Maybe we just hold off on unit upgrades for now. I don't think we want to do anything yet. So let's wait until later rounds. Let me just check that we're gonna we're gonna have two at the end. That's much better than doing it early, getting ourselves in a lot of trouble. We can be happy to sit at threat level two for a while here, especially with clergymen. Like it's with having so many spikes, and uh, as well, the fact that we have quick, like makes it pretty solid here. So we can go one, play you. Go one, two. Hmm. I think we still frozen lance. Although we could, we could frenzied swarm. Hmm. I think we should do this. Take three damage. Uh. Hmm. Play this. One. Two. And of course you want to play Siren of the Sea, but currently we can't play her, which is a little bit awkward. And then suddenly we're killing them. Okay, so we need to we need to make sure that we are getting our Siren pretty quickly here. Play you in the top. Frozen Lance will draw the Root Seeds. We're drawing eight next turn. Pretty good chance we get it. Yeah, we got it. Okay. We go one. Um, I think triple root seeds here adds a lot of value. One. Or double root seeds. And then, uh, yeah, Ice Tornado kills him. Well, kind of. With double stings it does. Should. One. We're going to take uh, eight damage. Dang it. Oh, that's fine. Okay, interesting. Yeah, they said it's going to be a few weeks. Probably end of January, beginning of February is my guess. Um, hmm. I don't think we take any of this. And... With the Frenzied Swarm, I think we can take... Uh, we're incentivized to take uh, as many offering spells as we can. Um, I think spell upgrades at this point seems pretty good. Let's minus one to Frenzied Swarm, so we can always play at the end of turn. Remove, consume, doesn't really make sense here. Uh, plus ten onto Crypt Builder is really strong. And then we want Holdover, double stack. This is actually okay on Wildwood Sap. That's 10 turns of extra draw every turn. And then... I think we just go with free root seeds. Free root seeds is almost always good. And from the caverns, we get... Purge a unit, purge a spell. We'll purge a unit. No, wait, hold on. Purge a spell. Oh, what would be good here? Ice Tornado? A free Ice Tornado? Seems okay. I don't think we need two right now. We can't even play both. And we're still going to hold off on uh, upgrading for now. we still got time. Alright. Um, do this this and play you in the middle sting we could ice tornado here that seems pretty good I am wondering about how much damage we can do here he is a uh, slay which is not really a problem we can smack this guy 
Then hit him for 10. We still have not played the Wildwood Sap yet, which will help out a lot as well. So we go one. Start doing this. We can Restoring Retreat. Okay. Uh, keep doing that, and then stun them. Cool. Oh, we get it back right away. That's great. Uh, Wildwood Sap. Root Seeds. And we're actually getting quite a lot of regen out here. And toss you out here for extra draw. How we doing? We're killing him. Okay. Seems good. In fact, we're really killing her. Okay. It's actually surprising. I didn't think we were going to be doing that well, but I guess with the regen, it makes a lot of sense. It's like we're not taking hits for a while. Um, spreading spores could be really good. If we can make it zero cost. With a lot of draw, you can get a lot of spreading spores stacked up. Uh, Cycle of Life is also very good. You can go infinite with offering monuments, but I don't know if that's really what we want to do. If you get two of them at one cost, or two of them at zero cost, you can go infinite. And just get insane amounts of spikes. That's really interesting. We have to remove basically everything else. And then you just stack infinite cycles of life. Hmm. Do we go for it? It's so interesting. And then we just don't worry about unit other upgrades and stuff like that. I don't think we're going to take an Animus. Um, although getting multi-strike onto, uh, a Siren of the Sea could be pretty strong. Hmm. Because we don't care about the minus 10. We get that back in, like, an instant with incants. I think we do that. We take this, um, we're going to take extra capacity, and we're just going to go all out. Although, we could also swap. We could put the anim we put, could put the upgrades on the Animus and then give it the Incant. Hmm. We'll see what upgrade pass we get. Um, we'll go unit upgrades here. We definitely want the removal. And the goal again would be that we get minus two and minus one onto Cycle of Life. We need to lower our cards down to like not very much at all. Maybe we can duplicate the offering monuments and we can then alternate between them. Because then we could draw two cards at a time, which is then more likely we're going to hit stuff. So we're, let's say we get one, two, three gone. We have uh, a consume card, one, two, three units. And then we would have left 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 spells. So we need to get rid of a lot of spells to make that work. Um, I think we skip here. I don't really think we need a relic. Large stone. No, I think we do um, incant. Armor. What if we do this? What if we incant armor, give it spikes, and then we add the Siren of the Sea to the Animus, and then we rely on the Root Seeds to grow it. Root Seeds, put it in the front. Interesting. Could be really good. I'm going to try this. Um, large stone we're not going to put anywhere. So we're just going to hold off. We're going to save our money so we can remove a lot more cards. Uh, okay, Strangler 2, or uh, Predator 2, and we are still hoping for... Um, this should be fine. With Quick, I think we're okay. We're going to play the Animus right now on the floor, because it just does more damage. Uh, so we'll play... Oh, I guess we could do... We could do everything. 
Well, we could do these three. Like this. Play a Sting. Play a Frenzied Swarm. Cool. Um, Sting up here. Then we go Root Seeds. Root Seeds. Uh... Do we play the Animus? You would die right away, unless we specifically get Cycle of Life. We actually get another one, somehow. So what do we need to kill that guy? We need two Frozen Lances. Obviously not really what you want to see. We can do this to kill this new guy, East guy. We do this to just keep growing the damage. You're going to get extinguished. Okay. And then let's play you up here. And sting, sting, sting. Uh, Wildwood Sap. We're going to get the Crypt Builder for the top floor. So we play that at the end. Uh, we sting. We can do another Root Seeds here. Plus a Frozen Lance. Frozen Lance, and then we Frenzied Swarm here to kill him. Um, what do we need to kill you? Huh. We can put you up here. Sting, sting, and then a single Root Seeds kills him. Then we can go double Root Seeds here. Okay, let's see how this goes. Uh, Sting. St oh, wow, we're actually killing the boss right now. Um, surprising. We can even give you plus 10 health and Frenzy Swarm. Cool. I mean, we are still at uh, 15 shards, so it's not like we're really pushing it right now. We skip all this. And we really, honestly, I don't think we take any other cards. We still go just all in on this idea of infinite. Okay, we hold on to it so that it can be zero cost. And it's all about removal. We will take every single removal we can. So removal, removal, removal. And then we finish off with the duplicate on the... Uh, on the... Um, Cycle of life, and we try to go for infinite spikes. It is a it is a way to go infinite. It, you have to get uh, minus two here, which we didn't get yet. So we wait. We can do a we can do a pact now. I think we want to yeet the siren onto the animus of will. And then. We can go continue to do minus one on root seeds. Another plus 10 power on a crypt builder. Minus one on another root seeds. Permafrost. I don't think we permafrost anything. Okay. Um. Let's continue. We'll have another divine temple here. Part of me is like maybe we should have taken. Are we gonna get? We're gonna end. When do we get? Oh, we don't get any more spell upgrades. Uh, okay. Well, we're gonna have to go with minus one somehow. Another way too. Except divine shards. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna go. We might still be okay. Spell shield two. It's a little bit scary. 
But I think we do enough spells. And it's our incanting now that's going to be doing the most damage. So we get all of our buddies in all at once. Um, we can even play on the bottom. Get you up front. Because if we're going to have anyone take a hit, it's going to be you. And then we start rolling as much as we can. Wow, that's actually like decently solid. Okay. Um, this. This. And then I think we go Wildwood Sap only, maybe? Mm, one. Two. Three, four. Okay, cool. So we just need some damage, and as a last resort, we can always go. Um, Ice Tornado, but obviously that's not the ideal. Do this, do this. And we could we can take four damage, honestly. We shouldn't stress out about this. We just take the four damage. Um What's going to be the best way? Ice Tornado doesn't do enough. We need to keep growing here somehow. <sighs> How much damage do you need? You need 140. We go one, two, and we're actually killing him, which is amazing. Okay, we try to uh, they're killing it here. So that's really good. So we go one, two, try to hit Ice Tornado. Okay, not great. But if we can get him below um, He's only gonna do eight damage, which is not bad. Okay, then we do this. Go all in, you out here for extra draw, restore, sting, and frenzy swarm. How are we doing? Not amazing yet. One, two. Wildwood sap doesn't keep him alive. But friends, but cycle of life would at least get us one more hit. Is that better? I think it's got to be right. Ooh, this is scary. We have to get crypt. Well, we're gonna get crypt builder. We have to get frenzy swarm as well. So we can sting, 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 sting. Crypt Builder for 160. And then uh, Ice Turtle kills him. But wow, that was uh, incredibly close. Way too close for comfort. We really didn't need to play on the bottom floor. I think that was a, I think that was a mistake. Um, skip. And skip. was very close. Now we have a zero cost Ice Tornado that gives us coins, which will be very help helpful for the removal. Um, we are not going to take this boon. We're going to go this path, though, to remove. At this point, it's Frozen Lances. They're pretty bad. Maybe the other Ice Tornado, the expensive one. And then what do we have to upgrade here? We just want we just want more health on offering monument. I mean I guess this is fine. And then reroll to get even more. This seems okay. And we're gonna again we're gonna go for removal after we need a dupe. When can we dupe? Ah, we can only dupe. Is one enough? Because it won't. I don't think it'll draw itself. I guess we could do every other spell though, because it's ten, and he's gonna lose five every time. So we do. We do. Um, 
Cycle of life, other spell, cycle of life, other spell, cycle of life, other spell. And that would work. Yeah, I think we're still good. I think we're still good. As long as we can get it every other time, we can go infinite. And when you have infinite spikes, it's really easy to uh, kill every boss. Uh, especially the last divinity. Um, we're going to play on the top floor so we have plenty of time. Cool. Okay, Scourge. That's perfect. That's exactly what you want to see. We're going to go all out here. Just try to get as much damage as possible. We're going to play this every time it comes up. Question is, do we play it here? Okay, it's fine. Um, root seeds. Frozen Lance, Frozen Lance, and then a Frenzied Swarm plus a Crypt Builder. It's pretty good. And we did get a uh, one garbage in the deck due to the... Oh wow, we actually got this back already. Pretty slick. Give you regen. Seems good. And we get the draw from the regen as well. So this should be much more straightforward. Sting. All the root seeds. And then... Yeah, but the other problem with it is that uh, we still just don't have lots of damage right now. Like, our damage scaling is okay. We damage scale with spells... In addition, I don't know, it's a little bit of a weird setup here. Um, we're still doing enough. Can we do, can we afford one more? I think we can, yeah. But that was a little bit, a little, a little bit close. This is the uh, awkward turn. We're gonna play just Frenzied Swarm at the top. Well, actually, we don't need to play that. We'll play a Rootsies at the top. One, two, three. Root seeds you, because you're certainly not going to make it, and then we root seeds him. Oh, wait, no, we have to play Frenzy Swarm. Frenzy Swarm. Dang. Okay. Ice Tornado. Suddenly we're wrecking it. All the root seeds. And Custodian. Get in there. We have a very specific type of build we're going for, and if we don't get it, we're just going to lose. Like, it's all on that build. Uh, root Seeds. Root Seeds. Double Frozen Lances. Smack these guys up. Okay. Now he's going for Relentless. I think we're fine here. We should have enough uh, damage. He's doing 30 exactly, so we need to do one um, Cycle of Life. Probably. Well, we may not even need to, actually. Like, we might just be able to do enough with uh, this Animus of Will, which is just stacked. Okay. I think we do play the Cycle of Life here. We might as well. That gets us uh, another a third attack, basically. Do that. And how are we looking? Yeah, we're killing it. She is losing a lot of health, though. So it's not just a, uh, you know, walk in the park here. She's going to be down. Well, I guess she'll still have 70-something health. So she could do another couple of hits. Another, I don't know, 600 or odd damage. Okay. Uh, we... Ooh, awoken, awoken Trail Spike is another way to enable it. If we get Permafrost on it, then we can almost guarantee it. Uh, but I think uh, let's let's take the non-risky route. Let's just make sure uh, we're good. And what do we want here? Um, I think it's I think it's extra capacity. So it really depends on what we end up getting here. So we're gonna go um, divine temple. We need the minus two upgrade to spell to cost minus two. That's fantastic. That's half of what we need. Uh, intrinsic. Do we want something to be intrinsic? Um, 
I don't know. None of this is very great. I think we'll just, well, okay. Death of Scales is okay. It means there's a chance we can hit double damage on spells. We're gonna keep getting rid of Frozen Lances because they're trash. And how, where do we have right now? We have one, two, three, four, five cards we're losing. We're down to 15, so we need to get rid of five more cards, which should be pretty easy. Um, Wing Steel is another draw. And I think we leave it at that. We don't want to go too crazy here. I think we might go dupe. Um, let's do the combo now. So we want to sacrifice the uh, dude there to get this. Thorn Lord. That's oh, but that's that's three stings. Which would make it more difficult to get our combo. So we're gonna go all in on Predator. I mean, you'd think Thorn Lord, but we have a very specific strategy in mind. This infinite strategy, if we can pull it off, is just a guaranteed win. Um, non bus enemy units get plus eight. I think that should be just fine. We're gonna kill things most likely before they ever have a chance to hit us. So we're gonna play uh, you up front, you in the. Yeah, like that. Do this. Do this. Cycle of life. And we can... Oh man, I do wish we had one more. But it's okay, we still kill one of them. Uh, I think it's worth going one, two. And then we go all in on... Uh... Oh wow, uh, Ice Tornado is really solid. And then as many root seeds as we can handle here. Although, regen. No, I think we just go root seeds here. Sting, root seeds. Okay. We need a lot of damage. We have a lot of damage. In fact, we have enough damage to kill this guy. That means I really like doing Astronado down here again. We can do another cycle of life. Get even more value out of this guy. And then later on, of course, we're going to cycle of life. Our Wildenton. Okay, uh, that I mean, that already got us to 100 and something damage, which is pretty good. In fact, we're right now doing 75 plus... Uh, this is two spells. We should do it. Yeah, Thornfruit's going to be a little awkward because it's going to actually add, which is not really what we want to have going on here. Let's go with you, and then Frenzied Swarm. Cool. Um, Sting. Cycle of Life. Uh, Sting. Restoration Detonation. I mean, Ice Tornado here. It's amazing. It's really, really solid. And then we can actually do this here as well. I think we just Root Seeds, though. Double Root Seeds. We want to get as much damage as we can for the boss. Yeah, these Stings are going to kill us. Uh, well, not necessarily, because we only get the one the first turn. So if we can, like, get an amazing, solid first turn to where we're just, like, consistently drawing. So it means we need... Do we need to get down to nine cards? Whew. It's going to be tight, but I think we can do it. This is scary. This is still scary. And... It's done. This floor. We need to get our... Good buddy Crypt Builder here. Uh, Ice Tornado also helps. Do we just outright play Crypt Builder to kill this thing? Do we need to? That's probably the real question. They're doing 75 plus all this damage, and then they're dying to the to the backliners. Um, I think we do that. Might as well take the guarantee. Kill all you. Root Seeds, Sting. Cool. 
We should pick these guys off. And we can, so we will. And then we just do everything here. Heal to draw. Another Root Seeds. Another Frozen Lands, Frenzy Swarm. And with 300 damage, quick. Should be okay here. Do that. Yeah, we are. We're doing just fine. Very cool. Yep. Yeah. And we're left with another oh, one hit. So it's actually pretty close. All right. Um, skip. And skip. The nice thing is you don't actually create a card if you are drawing 10. So you don't actually create stings if you can have 10 in your hand. Um, so now it's a question of do we dupe the offering monuments? I don't think so. I think we, we would lose them too quickly. I think we have to dupe... Huh. I think we minus one cycle of life and just remove. And that should be enough. So we remove the remaining Frozen Lances. We probably remove Restoration Detonations. We're absolutely minusing cost on Cycle of Life so that it's free. Uh, we can plus 10 on this Ice Tornado because it's like whatever man. What was the upgrade here? Create another version of a card and then purge it. Um, we could potentially do that with a Frenzied Swarm. Minus one on Purge on this. So we lose it during Seraph. I think we do this on our Root Seeds. It then becomes a one cost Root Seeds. And we're just over the 100 mark. We want to remove the other Restoration Detonation. And let's check our count. So we're going to get rid of one, two, one, two, three, four. And we're going to be left with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's too many cards. So we need to remove some more cards. We should remove probably two root seeds that are one cost. Now let's check. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, seven, eight, nine. Perfect, we have nine. So we're good. Um, what do we have for upgrades right here? I think it's still spells. We can do uh, extra spikes. That'll make things faster. We can get root. On the top floor, reroll. Spell weakness is fine. Oh, gain seven ember on the first turn. That will help us to get the combo right at the beginning. All right, so this is it. This is the uh, infinite combo. We just alternate spells and we get infinite spikes. So we'll play on the top floor. We get rid of you. So Cycle of Life, Animus of Will, Sting, Root Seeds, Wildwood Sap, Ice Tornado, Root Seeds, Root Seeds, Root Seeds, uh, Root Seeds. I think we hold off now. Sting. Um, yeah, let's hold off and just make sure that we have it next turn. We have, we're drawing 10. Smack you. We're drawing all 10 of our cards, which means that we won't get another Sting added. Okay, then we Cycle of Life, Root Seeds. Cycle of Life, Root Seeds. Infinite combo.
And we'll get infinite armor, which means that uh, we don't have to worry about our low health. We're not going to go insane. We'll get to something like... I don't know. I guess we do this. Probably more efficient. Just make sure I don't accidentally uh, get my timing off. This is the most exciting gameplay you've ever seen. <laughs> Alright, you know, we're just going to do this for a while. We're not going to go for a flying kill. I think with uh, 8 or 600 quick damage and uh, let's say we stop at 250 spikes. Then we'll just run. We'll just end turn, end turn, end turn, end turn until the end. There's no reason for us to sit here forever. But we could do this forever basically. Two hundred forty-nine, two hundred fifty. Okay, we'll do that. Mm -hmm. And I know that nothing will survive here because we have just too much damage. I think. Well, hold on. Oh yeah, they're dying to spikes. Yeah, that's fine. That's right, because they even if they hit at all, they die. And if they don't hit, it doesn't matter, because, uh, yeah. Cool. Ideally, we can play in the middle floor, because then, uh, the, um... The last divinity, he multi strikes, which means that he'll kill himself twice as fast, so we don't have to do it for nearly as long. But we're gonna first turn him. That's the goal. Or not first turn him, we'll second turn him. So we only have to survive the very first. Uh... Actually, we're good. We don't need uh, extra capacity. I totally forgot about that. Because uh, we ended up taking extra capacity for no reason. Okay, so cycle of life. We just need to be able to draw 10 here. So once we get to draw 10... Oh, and we need to get rid of the... Uh... Oh, we need to get rid of that card. And this Root Seeds as well. And now we are good, and you're not dying. We're drawing 10. We have exactly 10 cards. We're good. Okay. All right, fun times ahead. So you, then you, and then we just alternate until we get the kill. Eventually you'll start seeing the damage numbers racking up on the last divinity. An imp main. There's no mains. You main everything. This isn't League of Legends. 
there's no bottom lane. No, I'm kidding. Uh, cool. I mean, imps are imps are fun. We'll do an imp build after this. That's the last one I want to try. I haven't tried an imp build yet with uh, Last Divinity. Other than that um, really cursed uh, Transcend Imp run that I'm supposed to put online, but haven't yet. <laughs> All right, how we doing? We got a ways, guys. We're, we're surviving the first hits, but uh, I really want the second turn in. Just means it'll take a hot minute. I could switch to uh, also getting a... Uh... I think that was a sub. Yeah. Sub on uh, YouTube. If you're watching, Patrick, thanks for the sub. And if you're not, thanks for the sub. I don't know if we're ever going to be able to get high enough damage numbers. Let me think about this. Are we going to get high enough damage numbers to ever kill through all this? Uh, let's get uh, Wild Intent to 70. Then uh, we can Sting. In fact, we can mix in a Sting here. Like that. Now let's do this for a little bit. Let's kill all the units. And it, honestly, 10 damage is faster anyway. In fact, what am I doing? I am insane. This is so much faster. How about we just do 90 damage every turn? <laughs> and get infinite coins while we're at it. Getting there. All right, we're good. So anyway, that's how you beat the last divinity. <laughs> Feel free to like, subscribe, check out my other videos. <laughs> I think the minus two cost is uh, um, a little bit overpowered, maybe? <laughs> <laughs>